David Rubenstein, co-founder of Carlyle Group, one of the largest private equity firms in the world, has shared why he changed his mind about crypto in a recent interview by Colossus. Rubenstein co-founded the Carlyle Group in 1987. Since then, the company has grown into a firm managing $301 billion from 26 offices around the world. Among many credentials, Rubenstein is chairman of the Council on Foreign Relations, a trustee of the Brookings Institution and the World Economic Forum, and a recipient of the Carnegie Medal of Philanthropy. I have not bought cryptocurrencies, but I have bought companies that service the industry, because I think the genie is out of the bottle, and I don't think the industry is going to go away anytime soon, he said during an episode of Invest Like the Best podcast. By his own admission, Rubenstein's view on crypto has changed. He was skeptical of crypto in the beginning as he believed there was nothing underlying cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum. It's clear to me now that many younger people don't think there's much underlying the dollar or the euro or other currencies, he added. The billionaire investor also pointed to the crisis in Ukraine as an added reason for his renewed optimism about cryptocurrencies. If you're in Ukraine, or you're Russia, and your country has lots of challenges, and you want to have some assets, having some cryptocurrency probably enables you to feel better than you can have something that's outside of the government's control," Rubenstein said. Rubenstein is not the only billionaire who has recently changed his view on cryptocurrencies. Earlier this month, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon praised both decentralized finance and blockchain technology. Decentralized finance and blockchain are real, new technologies that can be deployed in both public and private fashion, permissioned or not, he said, before adding that JP Morgan remains at the forefront of these innovations. Rubenstein's previous comments on the matter came in May last year. Back then, he outlined government's chances to stop cryptocurrencies as unrealistic. He doubled down on his belief that digital assets are here to stay, forecasting they could play a significant role in the monetary system. He explained that the industry exists and thrives because people in the market want something different than traditional currency. Subsequently, Rubenstein touched upon crypto's notoriously volatile nature. He noted that significant price swings are normal as the industry is still in its early days. He also advised those who are not ready to face the enhanced volatility to stay away.